In this video, we will see how to analyze and journalize transactions. Every transaction is recorded only if they are in the nature of a business transaction. Under the double entry system, every business transaction is recorded by an entry that has debits and credits effects on specific accounts. This double entry procedure keeps the accounting equation in balance. To know which account has to be increased or decreased, let's understand the debit and credit procedure of assets and liabilities. In case of assets and liabilities, assets normally show a debit balance and any debits to a specific asset account increase its balance and any credits decrease its balance. In contrast, liability accounts normally have a credit balance, so credits increase the liability balance and debits decrease the liability balance. In case of owner's equity, Owner's capital and revenue increase owner's equity, whereas owner's drawings and expenses decrease owner's equity. Owner's capital has a normal credit balance. Therefore, a credit increases owner's capital and a debit decreases it. On the other hand, owner's drawings, which has a normal debit balance, increases with the debit and decreases with the credit. Note that increase in owner's drawings decreases owner's equity. So when owner's drawings are debited, it increases owner's drawings, but decreases owner's equity. Revenue accounts are similar to owner's capital, as they both increase owner's equity. They increase with credits and decrease with debits. Expense accounts are similar to owner's drawings because they decrease owner's equity. After analyzing each transaction of the business, companies first record transaction in a journal. A journal is a chronological listing of a firm's transactions, including the amounts, accounts that are affected, and in which direction the accounts are affected. It records the financial data pertaining to business transactions having debit and credit effects on specific accounts. The process of entering data in the journal is known as journalizing. A complete journal entry consists of the date of entry, the accounts into which the debits and credits are to be recorded, and a brief explanation of the transaction. Let's look at an illustration to learn how to analyze and journalize transactions. Paratine Industries has presented a few transactions from which we are required to indicate what accounts are increased and decreased in each transaction and journalize each transaction. In the first transaction, Aerotine Industries borrowed $6,600 from the bank by signing a note. In this case, as cash is coming into the business, cash, an asset account, increases, and as borrowings are made by signing the note, notes payable, a liability account, increases. To record this transaction, we increase cash by debiting it for $6,600 and increase notes payable by crediting it for the same amount. In the second transaction, Aerotine paid $3,200 in cash for a computer. In this case, Equipment, an asset account, increases, and cash, an asset account, decreases. To record this transaction, we increase equipment by debiting it for $3,200 and decrease cash by crediting it for $3,200. Recall, assets have a normal debit balance and decrease with a credit. In the last transaction, the company purchased supplies worth $900 on account. In this case, the supplies and asset account increases, and as purchases made on credit accounts payable, a liability account also increases. To record this transaction, we increase the supplies account by debiting it for $900 and increase the accounts payable account by crediting it for $900.